a lot scarier in real life. Adventure Lake. Hey, Brian. Hey, hey. Getting the latest uh, lake water to filter. Camp chores. Camp's busy. Finishing dinner. We need to have this figured out right now. What's going on? No, it's tea time. Waiting for my tea testing. time. <laughs> oh. Hey, it's bannock time. <laughs> Man, hello. <laughs> Can you hear it? That's money. Sizzle. That's totally picking up the sizzle. <laughs> All right, came out for an evening paddle. Dinner's done. Thought I'd cast a few. Everybody's still in camp, so I'm paddling solo. And in these boats, they're really light. I don't know if you could tell how much the bow is lifted. But when I get out in this wind, it's just like, it's like sailing. So, anyway. Actual paddle. We've just left camp. It's windy. The good news is we've got the wind. So we're heading towards our first portage and we may try to fish a little bit. Hey camera. Oh my gosh. I almost fell there. Oh, I've been doing that. I've been fully submerged in the swamp waters. Oh my goodness. So this thing gets heavy after a quarter mile or whatever this is. Okay. Yeah, that was some gross water. Got some mud there. Moss and mossy stuff. I almost made it. We're getting over there. My sunglasses are sliding off. I'm sweating. My oily nose. I got like 50 feet left. Oh my god. It's like the world's tightest corridor, so I'm gonna scrape my knuckles. Okay, I think I probably cleared it. Okay. We got a downhill. Oh, I didn't clear it. Turns out, hit that on the back end. It's like a 45 degree angle hill. Holy shit. Oops, sorry. Holy crap. Okay, gotta get down. Dad, where do I go to do this? You're gonna come down here. The, the hill is so steep, the canoe is dragging. Pull, uh, under 
doing it is the reverse of doing it. Uh, I'm going to get out of your way. Let me just cross. Go ahead over that way. So you're going to have this hand on your, your right hand is your anchor. Yes. You're going to roll it down. Okay. Um, and then you're going to grab the thwart with your left hand. Okay. I'm here to help you. Get your, get your jacket. Why? I'm sorry. Sorry. Ugh. I'll just rinse it off over there. It totally got mucked. Sorry. It's okay. I'll just rinse it off. We did it. Cole? Yes. You got any comments or feedback here? Portage hard. number one. You did the work. It was hard. Yeah? I'm tired. You're tired now. My okay. are very tired. Waiting for the hummingbirds to fly by Sitting peacefully in the morning light Alright, we're just now on Jigsaw Lake. We just finished the portage. It was 575 meters. It took us about an hour. Three boats, six guys. We double portaged. Jigsaw Lake's going to be fun navigating. name would imply there's little islands and throughs everywhere so we're gonna camp on jigsaw tonight mace what'd you think of that portage long, <laughs> long. Uh, you did a hell of a job nice work asking nothing in return she's waiting for the hummingbirds to fly by with the most beautiful smile big 575 portage Woo. we're in jigsaw lake which is where we're camping tonight and uh it's obvious why it's called jigsaw lake everything looks the same there's little islands everywhere and shoreline everywhere everything's green nothing distinguishing so we're going to try to find a campsite <coughs> that was under an hour on the portage fellas Yep, that was nice. Nicely done. <coughs> Cole carried the boat through that one. That was impressive. That was very impressive. It's uh, 5.30. So, I don't know, maybe half hour to camp, 45, we'll see. Give me real love. Waiting for the hummingbirds to fly by Alright, it's the morning of day three. Our campsite is in the background over here. We just shoved off. It's 9.20. <clears throat> had a good camp it was a little light on hammock spots but we made do we caught fish we ate fish and that was fun figured out where we were that's always a good sign 
now we're paddling to make our way to a big portage to start the day and then on to Wrist Lake for lunch. Poisoning talks, let him go now. Follow the music. All right, so after that pike, we fished a few more minutes there and then uh, we were at the beach and that was the portage, so we had lunch there. Just kind of lounged around, waded in the water a little bit, splashed around. Now the portage after lunch was only 100 meters. So there's the group finishing it up. It was a little shorty. And now we're on the uh, next little lake. I don't remember the name. This is between uh, wrist. Hang on. It's uh, Amber Lake. So we'll take this and at the end of Amber Lake there's a campsite where we'll stop tonight. So we're guessing maybe we have about another hour plus a little bit of paddling. It's about 10 till 1. So should be at our camp at a decent time. No, actually there's another portage so maybe closer. Get about those people Try to bring you down Just follow the music Poison and talk Let him go now Follow the music Trying to bring you down Just follow the music Follow the music Alright, we are on Amber Lake We made it to what was going to be the campsite Turns out The crew nicknamed it Bong Point Because it was very unappealing So now they've decided they want to push on so we're going to paddle up, take on the big portage, paddle Nutria Lake, and then cross the bog. We'll see how the bog goes. But we're going to Mexican Hat. So paddling into more headwind. Here we go. <laughs> Is that the dead end? That's the dead end. <laughs> now we're in the bog. The dead end? Dead end. Dead end. We're going to carry. Right here. All right, we're, uh, we're sitting here at the beaver dam. We undid our limbo and we're going to pull over this beaver dam and start the drag. What's that? Lost that You're saying oh. she's soggy? Oh, no. <laughs> oh, cold down a shoe. Oh, the mud is like going through the holes in the crocos. Hold on, I'm pushing this out there, Dad. Oh, oh, oh. This is awful.
Try to keep the boat out in the water for me. Tell me somebody's getting a video of this. Oh yeah. There you go. You get the GoPro on? Yeah. Alright. How's it going, Cole? It's going. What's hey, the, what are we what are we in? The bog. The bog. Let me throw it to you, Cole. Go back and push the front end if you need to. Actually, throw me the rope. Just think you're out of frame is all. That's that's a full thigh, by the way, camera. That's all the way up to the right thigh. Sitting peacefully at home. Asking nothing in return. Just waiting for the coming birds to fly by. dry as you can. If I need help, I'll call to you. Oh I fell backwards into it. Oh, it was quite nice. Splash on I don't know if I look better. Actually, like only a little. Yeah, I guess it was it was mostly the soft stuff, not the water stuff. Yeah. See if we can paddle. Okay, well, you're back. All right, we're all right. Bags in. Okay. Can I just walk over there? Nope. I'll just. How about you want me to go to the front? Yeah, sure. 
I'll pass your BFD back. No, I have my BFD on. Okay. My AOA though. Yeah. You want me to hold it? Sure. Launching the SS Minnow. Oh, look at that. Beautiful thing. Yeah, it is. Open water is pretty. Oh, scraping. Mist are here. Yeah, the Tylers were crossing the dam as we departed. Yeah, I got eyes on them. Good morning. So we uh, thought we'd show the campsite where we are on Wrist Lake, excuse me, Mexican Hat Lake. This is where we ended up last night after the bog. We had a really nice uh, time in camp. It was real windy, so we didn't really do a campfire. It's windy still this morning, but we're on this point. The point faces east, the wind is out of the east, but there's the view with the sun coming up, kind of looking east across the lake. We've got this little inlet down here to the right. Uh, John was already up, caught a pike this morning. Just had our food and water down here. And then the main camp is up in this area. So we had a couple clotheslines on the side here. But it's a great campsite. We love this campsite. As you come out of the bog, it's the, uh, it's the first or second one on your right. It's not G2. I know G2 is across from us. But anyway, we got the hammocks back in there and then the tents over this other side. busy doing all this stuff that we're doing I'd be filming it but we're busy having fun so I'm telling you about it instead hopefully in this shot you're catching some of the shoreline up close and getting a sense for the country it's really really gorgeous the weather's been perfect I don't think we've talked about that much but other than it's a little windy which I don't dare complain about that though I am um, Hardly any bugs at all, not even worth mentioning bugs. I think I've had more bugs in Austin in June than we're having here in Canada. So, so far so good on all that stuff. I think we have eight or 10 portages to do today. They're short. So we're just, we figured we'd just paddle, fish along the way. Mr. Tyler caught a pike first thing this morning, up early. Most of us slept in. Yesterday was a big day.
camp, by the way. There's our cook area. You got the hammock campers over that way. Back where we came in, that's our entry point down through the trees right down there. A couple tent pads here. Currently have clothes out drying. Mr. Cuts' his tent, another clothesline. And then through here is where we swam and the beautiful sunset. So our, uh, our youth are on the other side of that island. I doubt that GoPro's picking that up, but they're in their canoes doing some fishing. when you got a cut board bridge taking you out all right final trip up 
the final takeout portage.